Hi everybody, this is Mr. Collins with a really short video, either teaching you for the first time or helping you remember how to download, work on, save, and then upload assignments to Schoology, um, which let's face it, we're going to be doing quite a bit, at least this first semester, hopefully a little bit less second semester. Um, so depending on your teacher, you're going to have to find the assignment first. Now there's going to be two ways you can do that. Um, first, if you look on the right, um, if this assignment is up and active, you're going to see it over here along with the due date. So here we have the, this uh, assignment that is actually going to be a day one assignment. Um, today is going to be due uh, on September 8th by 11.59 p.m. And so you can access the assignment simply by clicking this link. Um, if, if you don't want to navigate by clicking that link, you're going to have to find it in your course materials. And it's going to be organized in some way depending on your teacher. And so again, you can simply click here, it should direct link you, or you can find the assignment here. Either way, um, when you click it, it's going to take you to an assignment screen. Um, so these are uh, details added by your teacher. Um, this is a file that goes along with the assignment. And then here's comments um, if you want the teacher to know something about the assignment, like maybe why it was late or maybe why um, it's formatted weird or if you had issues, whatever have you. Sometimes your teachers will not enable comments, no big deal. Um, to download the assignment, um, all you have to do is click the active link. Um, if you're in Google Chrome, it's going to download um, wherever your default downloads are. Um, if you don't know what, where that is, you can simply click on this button and then show in folder. Um, or as long as it's active on the bottom ribbon, you can just click it and it'll open it from wherever it's saved from. Um, this particular assignment is designed to be done in Microsoft Word. Um, some of your assignments will be designed to be worked on in this new thing called Cami, which we'll talk to you about in a later video. Um, if you're in Microsoft Word, um, you're going to have to enable editing. Okay, that comes as default, so when you download a Microsoft Word document, um, you're going to have to do that every single time. The yellow ribbon is going to disappear, and now you can type in. Now, this is just a point of like order. Um, you want to make sure that you're always putting your name on your document. Um, even if it's not a space that your teacher left, um, go ahead and take the initiative and please type your first and your last name. That's just proper. We're in high school now. Um, you want to put down the date on which you're working on it. Um, today is actually the, no, today is actually the first, 0901-2020, the year of crazy. Um, and then your block. Now, this year, we don't have A and B blocks. It's just going to be first block, second block, third block, first block. And so let's just say I'm block one. Now, this particular assignment um, is going to be designed to be worked in geometry. Um, per the directions, we're just going to type in our answers here. So like just for the sake of this video, let's say I typed in all the answers to all the questions and I'm ready to submit the assignment. Okay, so let's fast forward to that point. Um, first, we need to save it to our machine. So in other words, we have to save it to our documents or your desktop, um, whatever your normal thing is. For me, um, I go to File, Save As. I like actually saving to my desktop. Now, this file name is generic. You do not just want to hit Save. You want to change this file name. Um, for my students especially, I always want to see that block first and then your last name, your first name, and then what the project is. And so this is a motivation um, project. Um, or you can also call it like why I am here. Um, just something to identify it. Like make that part easy on your teacher. Trust me, you don't want the teacher getting frustrated trying to find your file because you know sometimes we just don't look until we find it. Um, we just assume you didn't turn it in. So never turn in a file with a generic file name. Always stick your block your last name and your first name on there. Um, please note where you're saving it. I save it to my desktop just so it's easy to find and go ahead and save it. Okay, so now you've you downloaded the assignment, you've worked the assignment, you've now saved the assignment. Um, now it's time to actually upload the assignment. So let's go back to Schoology, that same exact ass uh, assignment screen. You wanna look on the right um, where you see submit assignment. Go ahead and click that guy. Um, it's gonna give you a pop-up. If you don't have a pop-up coming, maybe you have pop-up blocker on or something. Um, so here you wanna hit this little file button. That's going to help you, uh, that's going to open a window to help you find your file. Um, I saved mine on my desktop, so navigate to desktop. Here it is. Notice how easy it is to find because I named it in a way that I could find it easily. Click open. You should see that pop in right there. Again, you can add a comment if you think it's necessary. Most assignments are not going to be necessary to add comments, but you totally can. Um, but what you want to do is hit that submit button. Okay. Once you hit the submit button, um, it, sh it should pop up here um, with your chosen picture, um, and it should tell you whether or not you submitted on time. And so please pay attention to those, um, those submission times. If it says midnight and you upload it at like 102 in the morning, it will be graded late. And depending on your teacher, that might be a loss of points. Um, if you want to, uh, well, this is going to be something separate. Like you have to talk to your teacher about that. They might have you set up separate portfolios, but that's why I'm um, um, blinking there. Um, let's say you up upload the wrong assignment. 
that happens sometimes. Maybe your file isn't well named. You hit re, you can resubmit the assignment and it will override the previous assignment. And so you won't submit both. It will just take the current one or the last one you submitted, okay? Um, but that's it, guys. So you find the assignment, you download it, you work on it, you save it, and then you re-upload it to the assignment or to the uh, to the assignment screen on Schoology. And that's all there is to it. And we're gonna be doing that a lot this year. So um, hopefully that was good. If not, feel free to ask questions to me or your teacher and we'll help you get it figured out. All right, thank you. Have a wonderful day.